welcome to my channel. It is finally almost fall, thank goodness. And so I am so excited to talk about matte lipsticks today because you know, during the summer, I kind of feel like a matte look can be maybe a little bit heavy. It can look a little bit over made up, especially when it's 98 degrees outside and 100% humidity. <laughs> but now that it's getting a little bit cooler out, I feel like I can actually wear some products on my lips because I really hate the feeling of having to apply a lipstick every five minutes. So I feel like at least with a matte, even if it's not a super long wearing a liquid lipstick formula that I can get a couple of hours out of it and not wind up with like that ring of death around my lips. So I have a metric butt ton of lipstick spread in front of me and I'm not gonna go through all of them because if I did, by the time I was done talking, you'd be too old to hit the play button. So we're gonna talk about my favorites and some of my not so favorites. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first brand we need to talk about is Jordana. Now, Jordana is a drugstore brand. I have talked about them briefly before, I think. And they are available at my local Walgreens, maybe some other drugstore chains as well in the US, not really sure. But anyway, I saw the display and the lipsticks were like $2.50 a piece, so I thought, mm, why not? And so my favorite offering of theirs is Matte Style, which is the matte red. And this is a true red if I can get the cap off. This is a true red, look at that, it's beautiful. And the texture is very thin, meaning that you don't feel like you have a big, thick, matte layer sitting on your lips. And the pigmentation is awesome. Look at that. Sorry, I kind of... There we go. <laughs> My knuckles were like, no, not today. But look at that. It's beautiful, right? And it lasts for hours. It's not totally transfer proof. If you're gonna like eat a pizza or, you know, like have sex, probably you're gonna wanna reapply this after, during. But it is not gonna fall off your face the way some other, you know, quote unquote matte lipsticks can. Now, the other shades that I have are Matte Pretty which is like a, it's like a frosty nude kind of. We'll talk about the frostiness in a minute. Let me just show you the colors first. Then we have matte, wait a minute. I have two of the same one. And I just realized that, lovely. Okay, so I have two matte pretties and I have matte bear which is bare, B-A-R-E, not bare like the Revenant bear, which is kind of a dusty, rosy pink. So we'll swatch this one first. This is the matte bear. I'm gonna swatch it like where I can see it first, okay? So matte bear, right, very pretty, really nice for daytime. That's probably my second favorite one. And then matte pretty is, it's a little bit of a warmer tone, it's more of a coral, okay? The issue that I have with, with Matte Pretty is that it is a little frosty for my taste and it's hard to see that in the tube, but once I put it on my lips, I was kind of like, you know, it kind of looks like it's sitting on top of my lips rather than actually sinking down into them and like looking like more of an organic part of my face. Now, obviously nobody is walking around the world born with metallic or frosted coral lips, hopefully, but you know that feeling where your lipstick is just kind of skating along the surface of your mouth and it just kind of looks like cheap lipstick? Well, that's mm, that's kind of the problem that I have with this one. The other thing with the Jordana lipsticks is that the, the shade name is kind of, it's printed on the side here, but I'm concerned that it's gonna rub off. Maybe not with this one because I couldn't see myself using the whole tube, but if you're gonna throw this in your purse and kind of, you know, use and abuse it as you do with lipstick, the shade might kind of come off. I really wish that they had just put a sticker on the bottom. They did not. I don't know why. On the plus side, these came shrink-wrapped, which is awesome for drugstore makeup because you know that nobody has put it up their butt before you put it on your face. Moving on. Getting rid of my swatchy swatch here. Okay. Next, let's talk about Rimmel. Now, I have a couple of the Rimmel mattes. My favorite is Kiss of Life. It's from the Kate collection, and it's it's another red. It's extremely similar to the last one that I just showed you. Great pigmentation. This one, it's a more of a traditional, you know, bullet shape. 
this one I love it it's a beautiful color it's one of those reds that I think would look good on people with kind of all undertones the issue with it is is that the texture is very thick and waxy so if you enjoy that feeling if you like to feel your lipstick on your lips because that way you know it's still on you might really like this if you prefer to feel like oh I really don't have much on my lips but then you kind of whip out your compact and oh hi lipstick maybe you want to give this one a pass but Rimmel again it's a drugstore brand super affordable it's like five bucks kiss of life shade 111 okay now I should have said in the beginning, I'm kind of going in order of preference here, building up to the big reveal, but the next two brands that I want to talk about, they're kind of neck and neck, and they are Colourpop and Kat Von D. So we're going to talk about Colourpop first just because they're closer to me in my little box of goodies over here. So I have two Colourpop liquid lips, they're called the Ultra Matte Lips, and they are Times Square and Love Bug, okay? Now, I did talk about these already in a previous ColourPop video, so I'm just going to kind of give you the quick and dirty. Also, I did not buy either one of these. These were freebies, so thank you ColourPop for those. That said, if I didn't like them, I would not be telling you that I did. So Times Square is a wonderful, slightly cool toned beige nude. It's like kind of the color of lips, but better. And you see how opaquely that goes on just with one little swipe. And these dry to a velvety finish. It is matte, but it's not as crazy transfer proof as the Kat Von D. But the trade off is these are super, 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 super comfortable. So you don't feel that kind of dry pulling, you know, almost like you put a clay mask on your lips and forgot to take it off. You don't get that with the ColourPop. So Love Bug is great. It's a great fall color, isn't it? It's a terracotta and we'll put you right right there gorgeous and can you see how the love the uh, Times square it's it's still a little bit wet but they are drying down these do take a couple seconds to dry down it's not like an instant but i kind of prefer that not only because of the comfort payoff that you get but also because it gives you time if you need to kind of like meeten up around the edges a little bit you have time to do that before it kind of locks into place on your skin so i do appreciate that now I have, and I've always had, kind of deep lines on my lips. I'm not talking about lines around the edge of my lips because I don't have any of those. Thank goodness. But I do have these kind of deep lines on my lips and no matter how much I exfoliate, and you know you should always exfoliate before you put a matte lipstick on, right? Right? Right. They tend to show up. So I found with these, because the texture is thinner, especially with this color, I like to apply two coats and the way to do that successfully with the ColourPop liquid lips is you have to apply one coat, let it dry, give it a couple minutes, go make some tea and then you come back and you put another coat on and what that does is it gives you just a little bit more thickness so it kind of fills in those like creases like I have this one that's like in the bottom in the middle of my lower lip and it's like hi I'm a crease and this that helps fill those in so if that's an issue that you have or if it bothers you maybe two coats are the way to go but even with the two coats I still feel like these are super comfortable and long wearing now they're not 100% transfer proof. So again, if you are gonna be eating like a salad with a ton of oily dressing, you might have to touch it up. But you're gonna get a far longer wear out of these than you would out of the Rimmel or the Jordana by virtue of the fact that they are a liquid lipstick that does dry on your mouth. Now let's talk about Kat Von D. Kat Von D, I have three of her liquid lipsticks. These are my favorite liquid matte lipsticks. I have three of them. I've got Lolita 2, Nosferatu, and Outlaw. Outlaw, by the way, super similar to Underage Red, which has been kind of a controversial trade name, and so some Sephora's, including mine, no longer sell it. Whatever. Anyway, let's talk about the packaging first. It's really cute. It's really, really nice. It looks very high-end, and again, it, these are $20, so it better look pretty high-end. Now you open these up, and this is super similar to Love Bug, and it will darken slightly once it dries. So you can see they're not identical, but it is kind of similar. It's a beautiful terracotta. And then Nosferatu is a very, very deep, dark, like burgundy brick color. Really, really nice. 
And then, of course, Outlaw is Fire Engine freaking Red. When you want to look like a bombshell, this is your color. Bam. Look at that. Now, these dry very, very quickly. And once they dry, you're not going to be able to move them around. So you do kind of have to be careful and precise and, you know, get your magnifying mirror out and make sure that the colors are going exactly where you want. That said, like any good liquid lipstick, you don't need a liner with these because they are extremely precise. And I've had absolutely no problems with these doing any kind of traveling around or, or bleeding or anything. Now, if you have um, like a lot of expression lines that are around your mouth and so, you know, like a regular lipstick might kind of feather out, maybe you want to use a lip liner, I don't know, but I've never had to and I've never actually heard of people having to with these. So the, the, the kind of trade-off that you have is these are thicker than the ColourPop in texture and they are more drying. So, of course, after exfoliating, I love to slather on kind of a heavy balm and I have it on my lips to moisturize them while I'm doing the rest of my face. Then I wipe that off and I put these on. So if you are looking for something that really is going to last hours and hours and hours, no matter what you're doing, check out Kat Von D. Uh, it's just they are kind of $20 each. But they last a long time and you only need one coat. So, yay. And here's another thing too. I'm using a makeup wipe, right? And you can see it's taken a while for them to come off. And in particular, look at those ColourPop ones. Those are really, you know, you kind of have to use it like an oily remover to get those off. Which is good. I'm not complaining. I just wanted to show you that they really are very tenacious. Now, my final, actually I lied. Do you know what? Before I go to my final favorite matte lipstick, I want to talk about a couple more recent lipstick purchases that I don't gotta know how I feel about some of them, but let's let's talk. Okay, so specifically, I wanna talk about the Maybelline Color Sensational Nudes and the Maybelline Color Sensational Bolts. Which one should I start with? Let's start with Smoking Red. This is one of the bold shades, shade 795. Beautiful. It's basically Nosferatu that I just showed you in a tube. It's a gorgeous, like, wine bricky red color it's actually it's a little cooler than Nosferatu is but it's it's gorgeous it's opaque I really like this one a lot but of course it's not long wearing so if you want a five dollar lipstick from the drugstore the gorgeous fall colors super saturated super opaque super pigmented I love it but you do need a liner with these because otherwise you're gonna have like a little bit of unevenness going around it's not gonna be cute if you want to get these to last longer, of course, you can do the old trick where you apply a coat, you blot, then you put translucent powder over, you know, your Kleenex, take the Kleenex off, and then you kind of dab on the second coat with your finger. But then again, you're going to wind up with more of a mattifying effect. So why not just wear a matte lipstick? But anyway, I am a fan of these. This is where I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not so sure. This was total impulse purchase, okay? Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I was looking for something that would be a replacement for MAC 3N, which came out with the Neutral Collection a million years ago, and which for me has been like my holy grail nude, but I'm running out of it. This is shade, if I drop it, I'll scream. This is shade 915 Blushing Beige. Now, again, it's beautiful. The problem is it's kind of, actually, it's a lot sheer. Can you see it yet? Not really. Now, I understand that yes, I am super fair, but look, you can barely see it. Like you can really, really barely see it. And I have found that if I have any dryness on my mouth at all, like any, this will grab onto it. And so it will kind of look like, it'll settle into like the fine lines or the chapped areas. And so it will make them more obvious. So. If you have super, super, super smooth lips, or if you are okay with kind of just having this be more of a gloss, go for it. This is not your perfect opaque creamy nude that I was hoping for, however. But again, it's $5 and it's, it's not that it's a bad product, it's just that you kind of have to put more thought into it than I would like to put into a drugstore lipstick. Okay, so now for my favorite matte lipsticks of the moment. And for a long time, these were Kat Bundy, but I'm sorry, Kat, I love you. I love every makeup product you make, but you've been dethroned. 
is the Maybelline, the Color Sensational, the Matte. These are the ones that come in the like plastic translucent plummy purpley tubes. Okay, why are these amazing? Let's look, let's look at the colors first. Let's start with what I have on my mouth right now. I'm wearing Clay Crush, which is a wonderful warm tone nude for, especially for daytime wear. Although I could also see myself wearing this at night if I did something really crazy with my eyes. It's just a beautiful matte, warm, like terracotta kind of peachy nude. It is super lightweight. It doesn't feel like you're wearing lipstick but it stays in place, people. And what I like to do with these, I have never been a fan of the translucent powder trick because I always find that it makes my lips feel gummy and it makes the lipstick look thick. So what I will do with these is I will apply, apply one coat, blot with a tissue, and then I will apply a second coat, usually straight from the tube because I really don't like putting my fingers and stuff. And it will last for hours, not through eating a ton of food necessarily, particularly with the lighter shades in this collection, but if I'm just gonna be going out and about and talking to people and whatnot, I can count on this to not fall all over my face and to not totally disappear. So Clay Crush is my go-to shade from this line. Love it, super comfortable, beautiful color, opaque pigmentation, $5, what's not to love? Oh, that's right, everything is to love. Moving on, Touch of Spice, great, rose dusty rose color for really this is a great day to evening color kind of like clay crush but it's a little bit darker slightly darker so this could be really work for an evening look as well as for daytime and all of these have the same wonderful opacity creaminess texture and long wear which is exactly what i want out of a matte lipstick Number three, Nude Nuance. Now this is super close to Clay Crush. It's slightly, let's compare the two actually, that would be good. Let's compare the two because they're right next to each other in the display. So this is Clay Crush and this is, what did I just say this was called? Nude Nuance. So you can see how, how similar they are. Clay Crush is slightly lighter and this one is slightly, slightly, it's a little cooler, but they're super, super similar love them both now finally this is my favorite shade prepare yourself because this is amazing this is burgundy blush bam look at that 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 is that is a burgundy that is like hi i am here to kick butt look at that woo gorgeous now here's the best part about this right in addition to the texture the pigment blah 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 I can eat pizza while wearing this and it still looks good. There might be a slight ombre effect going on by the end where it's darker around the perimeter, slightly darker and a little bit lighter in the middle, which I kind of like that look anyway. And that's a thing, you know, ombre lips are a thing. It doesn't look like, oh, you just tried to eat something and now you have like the naked like dog butt thing, you know, in the center of your lips where it's like, mm, and it's like lighter in the middle, no. No, 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 no. What happened was I bought this and then I swung by Little Caesars and I got a pizza for dinner and I came home and I had three pieces of pizza. Well, okay, two and a half and they were small, don't judge. And then I went and I looked in my mouth and I went, my lips still look good. What? You know, I was totally not expecting that at all. So Burgundy Blush, shade 696. If you are looking for an awesome, totally amazing fall color i mean just look at it look at that all i did apply blot apply again bam gorgeous 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 now this one above all else you will need a liner with because it is so dark and and it's so super pigmented like they're all super pigmented but this one's like on steroids if you don't use a liner you're gonna get a little unevenness and because the color is so dark it will be super noticeable especially if you're as pale as i am so i can't stop talking about this but i need to shut up because this video is long enough so guys that's all i have for you right now thank you so much for watching thank you for spending some of your time uh today with me and please hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button that would be awesome i would super 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 appreciate it thank you so much have a great day and i will see you in the next video bye bye Thank you.